Right, uh, hello internet, uh, another um, teardown video of uh, this time of a uh, RX 570 4GB uh, uh, power color red devil. Um, so, yeah, I purchased this um, broken off eBay, uh, but it actually works. Um, so, yeah, and uh, time to do another uh, teardown video uh, so uh, this card as you can see features metal black backplate it features a uh, dual bios switch right here uh, the casing where the fan shroud is so the fan shroud casing is metal uh, as well it's not plastic like it usually is and um, as you can see uh, this card has never been opened before uh, so yeah let's do it uh, you can see the four tension screws another secondary screws here and these uh, uh, screw peripheral screws show that there is um, possibly a back plate a, a base plate attached uh, underneath so uh, let's get to it so the four screws that hold down uh, the cooler uh, to the GPU die first. I'm gonna break the seal. There's no warranty on this card anyways. These cards are uh, eight, eight years old now, I think. Should be around eight years old. And this is a retention screw as well. And this is a retention screw as well. Uh, the card was pretty dusty. Um, I did uh, use a blower uh, just to uh, get the majority of uh, the dust out. And the card should be opening now. There's only there should be only surface tension from the uh, thermal pads holding it together. Oh, yeah, I can feel it's moving. I uh, don't think there no there are no other screws here. Uh, but since this card has never been uh, opened before, oh yeah, there we go. The surface tension of the thermal pads is uh, quite a bit so as you can see a connector here that connects to the uh, fans and surprise there's no base plate so there's just the these uh, screws that we saw earlier uh, those uh, just support the uh, back plate uh, on the PCB and uh, that's about it uh, if we can get uh, this. So usually there are small hinges, learned by mistake from a couple of cards ago. So you need to unhold the hinges, otherwise you can tear off uh, the whole pin from the socket, which is not a good idea. Slowly comes off. Yep, and that's it. So, uh, as you can see, uh, the thermal pads for the memory, the thermal pads uh, for the VRM section that provides power uh, to the GPU. Everything will be replaced, cleaned up. Um, as you can see here, there are metal screws holding uh, the... and some dirt. <laughs> uh, holding the... Uh, uh, fan shroud to the heatsink. Uh, all this will be disassembled, uh, thoroughly uh, uh, washed out and cleaned. So let's put that by side. And now the actual PCB. So memory chips, GPU core, uh, the VRM memory. Uh, the display port is here. 
this is the main voltage regulator so I would guess this is 5 volts uh, 12 volts here so again this card uh, exists in a 580 variant so there's a supposed to be a secondary 8 pin connect on there but since it's just a humble RX570 uh, nothing special so just a single 8 pin connector here uh, this should be memory if I'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken that's the main uh, PWM IC logic chip um, uh, that's all I can see for now you can see the uh, BIOS chip from the inside um, and yeah now that all that remains as you can see these screws that hold the back plate to the PCB so we'll unscrew these real quick those are pretty large screws uh, the function of the back plate should be uh, to provide rigidity and sometimes if the manufacturer is up to it to provide extra uh, thermal uh, limits uh, but most of the times um, it's just cosmetic and uh, as I said uh, maybe to provide some rigidity because uh, of the longer cards as you can see the back plate over extends for, from quite a bit where the PCB ends so as I said cosmetic uh, function primarily and the last one no oh, there's one here as well so as you can see I have never opened this card uh, before uh, after its recent purchase and that should be it there's another one there's a, a one one other one there and that should be it yes indeed and there's nothing well, it's quite dusty but uh, there's no thermal pads there's nothing going on at the back and that's it and back plate is out as well and this is the PCB uh, this seems uh, like 3.3 volts um, I can't see anything else BIOS this could be a BIOS chip is there anything on the front no that could be the main BIOS chip there's another one maybe here anyways I can't see the uh, the uh, markings on them but yeah another uh, short uh, uh, teardown video from this uh, RX 574 gigabyte uh, Red Devil uh, that's it for this one uh, see you off on the next one thank you